Hello everyone and welcome back to another video brought to you by SeniorCatWellness.com. In today's material, we'll talk at length about what to do when your lost or missing cat finally returns home. We'll briefly discuss a few notable reasons as to why cats leave home for long periods of time, and of course the proper positive actions to take once your cat finally returns home. There are several essential steps that must be taken on that grand day when your beloved pet finally returns to your door. While a million questions will swirl in your head both during the event and after, it's always important to keep a level head. In terms of the aftermath and the grand return home, that aspect of things is as critical as any. Depending on what happened, there could be a period of not only readjustment, but also recovery for your cat, both physically and mentally. Before we explore this very important subject, let's first take a look at today's topic overview. When your missing cat returns home, you must reintroduce it slowly to prevent it from becoming stressed and agitated. Take it to the vet for a checkup and feed it small meals to avoid health issues. Bathing it will remove fleas and debris from its fur, freshening it up. Avoid letting visitors into your home until your cat's settled. Secure your home by shutting windows and doors to stop it from escaping. It should be clearly stated before we press on that today's topic concerns a missing cat that has finally returned home, not a cat that has merely stayed out later than usual and didn't come back until the following day. While that topic and event is very important in its own right, and those episodes can be highly stressful, and I speak from personal experience, today's material will speak to what you should do if your cat returns home after being gone for several days, even several weeks. This is why a vet checkup and extensive cleanup of both the physical and mental variety were noted in our topic overview. While a lot can happen to a cat, even if it's gone for only an hour, a cat that has been missing for days, well, the possibilities are almost endless. And even if your cat returns home without physical injury, the severe trauma of simply being gone could cause your feline to act very different and rather skittish for quite a while. It's fair to say, at least a good portion of the time, that when a cat does return home after a long time away, especially returning on its own, that you'll never really get the full story of what happened. Your cat could have been anywhere, and your cat, well, they'll never tell. This is why the trauma aspect is very, very real. And before we get started today, we do thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first video, or you've been here for 100 plus, we do thank you so much. These videos are absolutely nothing without an audience. We are grateful, humble, and truly appreciative. We hope you enjoy today's content and find it informative, and we do look forward to seeing you in future videos. Now, what to do when your beloved cat finally returns home. Before we discuss the positive actions that you can take once your cat finally returns home, Let's first mention a few of the notable reasons why something like this could happen in the first place. It is estimated that at least 15% of all cat owners will lose their cat within five years if they are granted any level of outdoor exposure. Some of them are sadly never found, while one-third are recovered within the course of roughly seven days. From personal experience, I used to allow my cats to roam the neighborhood. They never really went any more than probably 40 yards in any direction, but felines, they can be quite contrary. Just because they're not far away doesn't mean they'll always want to come back when you want them to come back. And on a few occasions, probably four, I had one of my cats. Uh, they wouldn't reappear until the wee hours of the morning or even until the sun came up the following day. However, as we stated earlier, the example I just gave is not a missing or a lost situation. It's more of a cat having an independent streak or perhaps being spooked by another cat in the neighborhood. Certainly not a perfect scenario, but nothing to press the panic button over. However, when it comes to your cat going missing or being lost for days or even weeks at a time, there are typically a few explanations that do turn out to be fact-based, at least most of the time. The first one is downright theft. Hey, someone stole your cat. Even if your cat hangs around your property, it just doesn't take much for someone to come right up and just steal your pet. It happens especially if your cat happens to be rare and expensive in terms of breed. In some respects, this is almost like stealing a car. 
the more flashy and more prominent, the more it can be subjected to potential theft. Bengals, domestic shorthairs, Maine Coons, Siamese, Russian Blues, Sphinx, Scottish Foals, just to name a few, are indeed a few of the more notable breeds. And while it can be easy to assume that just some total stranger grabbed your cat, well, it could unfortunately just be your neighbor. I mean, if you didn't see it happen, it could be easy for your neighbor just to act like nothing happened at all. Hey, have you seen my cat? Nope. Well, see how easy that was? The next reason involves reproduction. Unless your cat is spayed or neutered, it's possible that your cat has left the area to hunt for a mate. And this could take several days. Male cats, in particular, will travel a great distance compared to females. Instincts and hormones rule the day, and your cat will likely stay gone until they find what they're looking for. Having your cat fixed can prevent this type of wandering away, and it also avoids unwanted pregnancies and infection, and it can also calm your cat, thus making it more relaxed and potentially better behaved. Another reason why cats stay gone for long periods of time is injury, and this can be a mix of many things. Either the cat is seriously injured and cannot physically come home in short order, or the cat has a minor injury, yet has decided to lay low as to not be seen by a predator. The latter is actually quite common, especially if you allow your cat to roam your neighborhood. Even the slightest conflict can send a cat into hiding until some level of coast is clear type safety does reveal itself. While this next one is a bit, that's a bit rare on the rare side, it is possible for cats to essentially go missing because they've been trapped either by some type of physical enclosure such as a shed or garage or, as we somewhat noted in our previous reason, trapped by a predator. If a cat feels they can't make a safe move, they'll just wait as long as possible. This is one of the many reasons why distance is somewhat irrelevant. Just because a cat has been gone for days or even weeks doesn't mean that they've traveled a long distance. They could have been a mere 20 yards from your front door for a total of 10 days. It all depends on what's taking place or has taken place. Being trapped either in the most literal sense or being cornered by something unpleasant can cause a feline to freeze in place. Yet another reason for your cat being lost is the fact that your pet could be legitimately lost. While lost, in the most literal sense, is almost impossible for a well-seasoned cat that has lived in your neighborhood and Rome has roamed it for years, uh, it could happen if that cat were to wander off too far. Or, and here's the key and more likely scenario, if your house cat were to escape through an open door, the latter is, in fact, the most concerning. If your cat is lost, attempt to bring them home by placing some of your cat's belongings outside, unwashed bedding, used litter. How about an item of your clothing? Anything that can attract a familiar and trusting scent while placing objects on your front yard seems incredibly strange, certainly from a visual standpoint. If your cat is lost, this method of aid can help tremendously. Two other notable reasons for your cat leaving home and staying gone for many days or weeks can involve accidental transport and hiding. Accidental transport, for example, purposes can occur when your cat gets into a vehicle. If your pet were to jump into the bed of a pickup truck to sleep, and fell to leave the bed, the truck could take your pet many miles away. Of course, once the vehicle comes to a stop, your cat could jump out. This can introduce a host of issues. The most obvious is that of a stranger in a strange land. While a missing or lost cat is usually not too far from home or the neighborhood, sadly all bets are off if accidental transportation is responsible. In respect to hiding, this reason is a bit rare if the conversation involves some level of extended absence. While cats have been known to wait out a threat from a predator, animal or otherwise, cats don't typically hide out for days upon days. This point harkens back to my experience of an overnight absence. However, cats can be contrarians, and if your feline is on what more or less amounts to somewhat of a campout, then technically your pet could hide out for a while before returning home. And rounding things out, we have returning to an old home and death. If your cat is new to your home, your pet could have escaped in an effort to find its way back to its prior environment. Cats are extremely territorial, and it can take them a long while to adjust. Attempting to quote-unquote go back home is a reason for leaving you for several days or even several weeks. And the elephant in the room, unfortunately, is death. The great outdoors, especially beyond those comfort barriers, 
can be quite difficult, a difficult place for domestic felines. An unfortunate fact is that some cats that fail to return home have transitioned to their place along the Rainbow Bridge, as death is simply another chapter in the grand book of life. Once your cat returns home, we recommend that you take the following actions. Of course, everything will obviously be on a case-by-case -case basis, and some actions will be more critical than others depending on the situation. Step one, visit a vet. Make sure that your cat is okay beyond simply what your eyes can see and your hands can feel. Step two, allow your cat to settle in your home without threat. Plenty of food, water, toys, and space. Shower your cat with love, but don't overdo it, as your feline is likely back home after a very traumatic experience. Step number three, feed your cat in moderation. And speaking of food, small portions do win the day, even if your cat has lost weight and needs a good meal. Portion control is key. A large meal could harm your pet after days of eating very minimal amounts. Step four, give your cat a bath. While this could be handled at the vet or in your own home, make sure your cat is properly cleaned. A brand new flea treatment will likely be in order. Step five, secure your home. Let's just use seven days as an example. Let's say you've owned your cat for seven years and then it vanished for seven days and returned on the eighth day. This is trauma, emotional and mental trauma for you and the same for your pet, not to mention potential physical trauma for your feline. As a cat owner, this is a red letter experience, securing your home so this never happens again, at least to the very best of your ability, should be a major priority. Step number six, limit visitors. It's a good bet that your cat has had enough of strange people and strange things to last a lifetime after this experience. Your cat upon returning home will likely be riddled with anxiety and even outwardly scared. This can lead to hiding away and sleeping more than usual. With all of that said, the very last thing you want is visitors coming over, and the last thing your cat needs is more trauma. Step 7. Microchip. If your cat was not chipped before, then now is the perfect time to do it. A microchip implanted under your pet's skin at the base of the neck will contain critical contact information should your cat ever get lost, stolen, or go missing in the future. Having your cat chipped can help to lead to a speedy and hopefully safe return. Step number eight, update your cat's ID tag. This is similar in many ways to the chip. If your cat wears a perpetual collar, make sure it does contain essential information. And step number nine, get your cat fixed. We mentioned earlier the importance of getting your cat spayed or neutered as the search for a mate can lead your cat away from home and on the prowl for many, many days. Outside of your cat being chipped and securing your home, getting your pet fixed, is one of the most critical ways you can potentially prevent your feline from roaming the land. And on that note, that will wrap things up for the video side of life regarding this very important topic. However, if you'd like to know more, we've got you covered over at SeniorCatWellness.com. There you will find a full-length and highly detailed article dedicated to everything we've talked about here today and so much more. We hope you check it out at the conclusion of today's presentation. Are you currently watching us off-site? If so, we do encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to all of the information. And until our paths cross again, and I certainly hope they do, we'd like to thank you once again for joining us today. Please have a wonderful day. All the best to you and yours, and we will talk to you later.